Hey everybody! I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I wanted to start off by showing you the newest addition to my Christmas room. And this is my adorable pink tree. I got this silver tree at Walmart. It was $8 pre-lit. And it's just like about two feet tall. And then I put little pink Christmas balls on it and a pink skirt. And then I made a pink bow. So I just wanted to show you because I think it's super duper cute. But this is going to be, I guess you could call it a haul and my initial reaction to the new Maybelline Fit Me line. And if you haven't heard about it, it's this new line and it's it was reported in the press, I guess, that it wasn't going to be coming out until January of 2011. But I was walking through Walmart and saw the whole setup. And it basically is a line of foundation, concealer, pressed powder, blush, and bronzer. And it's meant to all work together. You go there, um, we like you go to the setup, you know exactly, you figure out what shade you are, and then you know exactly what concealer, what powder, and what blush, and what bronzer is gonna work well with your skin, because everything is numbered. Um, and in Walmart, they have a setup that had little sample testers of every color, which was so nice because you never get to test foundation colors in the drugstore and it can be so hard to find a color. So I went with the 235, but the lighting in Walmart is tough. So I think that this is just a shade darker than me. But basically how it works is the Maybelline Fit Me line is meant to all work together. And I think, uh, the main market for this is women who are maybe new to makeup or still uncomfortable with makeup. So if they can find their foundation color, it's so easy because then you have, you know, you can figure out everything else. You're not like thinking, oh, is this blush too bright for me? Is this bronzer going to be too deep for my skin tone? What concealer do I put with it? So it's meant to all work together. And I have uh, an article on it from the stylist.com and or it's just stylist.com. I'll put a link to it in the down bar. It says that what women were looking for was that they wanted the right shade for me and that it needs to look natural on my skin. So, you know, there's apparently 18 different shades, which is a lot for a drugstore brand, and they had a lot, and they did have different undertones. All of the numbers are labeled with either a five or a zero. So depending on your undertone, I, I couldn't pick up on which was which. Um, that's what you would go with. And then, the way it's organized is there was two rows of light products, two rows of medium, and two rows of dark. And the point is that everything is together. You don't have foundations in one place and concealers in another. For your shade, it's all right there. So I am a medium skin tone, so I went with the 235. And then there were two options for concealers, um, a 20 and a 25. And I went with 25 because I went with 235. They both end in fives and so I figured the undertone would be the same. And then they have the pressed powder, which is 235, and then they had two options for blush there. Um, they had a medium pink, which is what I picked up, and then they also had a warm pink or something like that. It was a little more, I, can't, I forget exactly the color, it was a little more deep and more of a bronze, looked like it had more of a shimmer. So I went with the, the brighter, this is has a slight shimmer to it, I guess, not much. And then they also have bronzers. I didn't pick up the bronzer only because they didn't have any medium bronzers left, but they did only have one option for bronzer. And it's actually a really affordable line. I have my receipt here. The blush was $4.48 at Walmart. The concealer was $5.48 and the pressed powder and the foundation were both $6.48. So I think that's very reasonable for foundation. And initial reaction, I love the packaging. I think that is so sleek. I love, I love it. It's glass. Um, it is, it doesn't have a pump, but you know, neither does Revlon Colorstay or a lot of others. So it's not that big of a deal. But I mean, it is so sleek looking. It really looks like a high-end brand. It looks nice. Um, really like the packaging and this is the second day I've worn it I washed my face and put it on the night I got it and then I wore it yesterday and I wore it today and this is all I've been wearing I put on a primer and yesterday I did Smashbox today I did my Rimmel so two different options um, and then I used well I did use my Garnier under eye 
uh, anti-dark circle roller. I use that every time before putting on concealer. So I did do that, but I used the foundation, this concealer only, this pressed powder only, and only this blush. I did top it with a little bit of Rimmel or of NYC Sunny Bronzer. But that's it. So I didn't use my own pressed powder. I just did it this way. So initial reactions. I am not impressed and I have only worn it two days so I haven't given it enough time and I will keep wearing it but honestly I don't even feel like wearing it. I did my makeup probably around 7 15 7 30 this morning and it is now 11 o'clock. I don't know if you can see how shiny my face is. I did not touch it up. I did not want to repowder because I wanted to show you this. Look at that. Look at how shiny it is on my cheeks like here on my chin like I can touch it and feel the oil on my face. I hate that. I have combination skin, so um, in summer usually I have more of the oil problem. In winter, the foundations I've been using, I really haven't had a problem with oil, especially you know with a setting powder and things like that. Maybe I need to blot in the middle of the day or put on a little more powder, but this is pretty bad. I would not want to put powder over this. Um, as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm actually going to wash it off because it looks so gross. I know it's it feels gross and it's only been what a few hours it's pathetic like um and i didn't switch up anything in my skincare routine the only thing actually i did switch it up i have to take that back i usually use the garnier nutritionist moisture rescue lotion with spf 15. today i re i just bought the the nutritionist moisture rescue gel cream which it's like the gel I mean I know a lot of you have seen it and everything so that should make me less oily because it doesn't have SPF in it and it does not leave any residue on your skin it really absorbs quickly it does moisturize but absorbs so quickly so I mean I would think that if anything I would be less oily than I normally am and I look like an oil slick so that's that um, yeah, just overall, the foundation is light to medium coverage depending on how you apply it. Today I applied it with my fingers. Yesterday I used my Sony Kashuk multi-purpose flat top brush. Um, with the flat top brush, it was definitely more coverage than with your fingers, but I just wanted to see how it looked. Um, yeah, I'm just, it didn't really cover my blemishes. I kind of have some discoloration going on right now, and it didn't really it didn't really look great I mean I mean it looked okay when I first put it on but I want I want my foundation to look awesome when I first put it on not just okay and then it usually doesn't stay as nice throughout the day but this just totally went downhill from there um, but this is what oh the foundation is SPF 18 by the way which is nice if you're looking for that um, this is the pressed powder it opens up and it is it's a circle like this and then underneath what is nice is it has a mirror here and then it has a powder puff in there. Okay, I used this powder puff the first night I got it, and I'm not going to use it anymore because this is like flimsy, flimsy plastic. Like, you can hear it crinkling. It's so cheap. Um, and I don't have a problem with... I use CoverGirl True Blend. Here, I'll show you the powder puff. Okay, this is the CoverGirl True Blend powder puff. And, I mean, it's not like hard or anything either. It's pretty flimsy, but it has something to it. Like, this was so flimsy I couldn't even really work with it so I only used that the first night the rest of the time I applied it with my elf uh, studio powder brush because I powder brush yes I because I love this one it really works well um, but I like pressed powder to even out my skin even more that is why I love the covergirl true blend pressed powder because if you don't have much to cover up you can use that as a foundation so I like that just to set my foundation and then also to you know even out even just a little bit more this doesn't even out but you know I know a lot of people aren't looking for that they're just looking to set their powder and absorb oil throughout the day or set their foundation and absorb oil throughout the day but yeah I just didn't think it did that much it did make my skin look matte but not for very long as you can see and then the blush comes in a package like this and I thought this was a really pretty color like that shade it's it's a little brighter than it's coming off um, I am impressed with the brush usually I instantly toss blush brushes that come with them but this one is actually pretty dense um i applied it with this this morning and it, i mean i would usually use my regular brush i wouldn't continue to use this but it is good so if you wanted to keep this in your purse or something like that it, you could definitely apply it with this i do like that um not very pigmented not very impressed i did kind of have to apply a lot and you can't even really see it anymore um 
yeah, I've just come to expect more from cosmetics. I mean, e.l.f. cosmetics, super cheap, but their studio blushes are so pigmented and wonderful, and this one, eh, fell short. And then as for the concealer, it is a doe foot applicator, and so when you have concealers in, a, in packaging like this, it's not going to be a super thick concealer that's like amazing for under eyes, amazing for cover up. It's just not going to be like that. So it is really creamy. Um, and my hands are a lot lighter than my face, so that's why you can really see it. But And it really does blend out well. It doesn't get cakey, it really smooths out well, but it doesn't have the best coverage. Um, I really like patted it under my eyes a lot and I still feel like they don't look that great. Um, but I think that's also to be expected with a concealer like in this format, not like a pot concealer or something that's really thick and creamy. So basically my overall impressions of this are eh, like I'm gonna keep wearing it, I'm gonna keep trying it, but I don't know. Unless something really changes with it, I just don't see myself being that impressed with it. Um, it is available at Walmart. I, as far as I know, that is the only place right now that it is available. I'm sure it'll come to more stores come 2011. But so that's basically it for my initial review. If anything changes, I will do an update video and let you know what I think of it. But as for now, eh, if you want to try it, go ahead. Um, you know, that's just kind of where I'm at. But so I hope you took something from this. Uh, sorry if I totally bashed what you were expecting from this line because I was expecting a lot, honestly, because it's such sleek packaging. It was like, I didn't really hear anything about it. I just saw it pop up in Walmart and I was like, ooh, what's this? Like, it made it, like, they made it, it made us, the packaging almost made, hypes it for you because it looks great. It's like totally new, you know, a new idea to put everything together, number everything. Like, I know CoverGirl does that, but, um, yeah, so just kind of so-so. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, comment below if you have tried it, if you want to try it, what you think, if you have any questions, because um, I've really loved to hear from you and I love to read your comments. So, all right, have a good one. Thanks.